So this is the first dishwasher that I've ever covered on this channel. It is tech, right? It fits in the smartphone category, I'm joking. But uh, this is the Hava R01, and they sent this over to me for review. This isn't sponsored. They just sent over the dishwasher. And so basically, I found this interesting because I'm gonna be personally using it in my studio here because I use a coffee machine and I make coffee all the time. And so my coffee mugs and glasses kind of build up. But if you live in an apartment and it didn't come with a dishwasher or it doesn't have the plumbing for it, you can find some use in this. Or maybe you live in a dorm room and you're a little bit messy like I was in college, you can find some use of this. And then also maybe you just live in an RV and maybe you wanted something that is small and compact, but you can also take in and out if you don't need to keep it in the RV. This could be useful for you. But now let's talk about how you use this thing. So this does have a built-in water tank and it can hold, I think, around five liters of water. So to fill it up, you have two different ways. So it has this lid here at the top, you just twist off. And then this does come with a water pitcher and it takes about three sessions of filling this up and pouring it in the top to get this thing filled. And it does give you a little bit of a beep when you do reach the capacity, but the beep is kind of low. So I found that when I was like playing music or watching TV, I could barely hear the beep. So you have to kind of pay attention for that but other than that once you get it filled up just put the lid back on and then now you are ready to wash now the second way that you can fill this up with water is that it does come with this inlet hose that you can connect to a faucet or sink or whatever and so this does use the same type of uh, method as like a garden hose to just twist onto that faucet and then now you have a direct connection to add water now as far as the outlet so where the water is going to be going exiting the dishwasher it does have an outlet hose that does have a suction cup that you can attach this to the inside of a sink and just have the water go there or for me for this particular purpose here of this video where I'm filming I'm just using this trash can and I have this hose just kind of pouring into that and uh, this size trash can I can have the water going into this for like around two weeks or even longer before I have to dump it out and you can plug this in just a regular wall outlet and it's going to be drawn around 960 watt hours of power and the power cable that does come with it is around 55 inches long and it does not detach from the dishwasher. And you know what, I have to say that this dishwasher looks good. It looks very sleek. Like I'm proud to have this in my studio where I have a bunch of tech. So it looks really nice. I love the tempered glass in the front so you can see the washing cycle as it's going down. And this does have a blue LED light that turns on when you do open up the door. And it will stay on for like a, a couple of minutes after you close the door. There's no way to keep the light on, which I did wish it did have that. But other than that, it looks really nice. Now this isn't super small by any means. This does have a decent footprint, um, but it does also weigh around like 28, 29 pounds as well. So when I say portable, it's not something you want to carry around every single day, but it is something that I think most people will be able to find somewhere to put it. Now, when you're ready to wash, just pull down the door and then it does have this rack that you can pull out. Now this rack has about like, I think four or six wheels on it. And it does have a little stopper here on the inside of the door that's supposed to prevent it from like going over, but I found that to be still kind of easy to do if you're not paying attention. So I wish they kind of just reinforce that a little bit more now you know one thing about dishwashing is that trying to load the dishwasher properly can always be like a little puzzle and on their website they have pictures of them stuffing a lot of stuff inside of the dishwasher I don't think I would ever be able to achieve what they did but I put a decent amount of stuff in here and definitely for like two people I would think this would be perfect when you start to get to like three and four people as far as like a day's worth of dishes you might have to get very creative but overall I think it's fine especially just for one person like myself now, one thing I really like is this rack here at the top that you can fold down. And on the website, they show them putting some coffee mugs on this rack, but all of my coffee mugs are a little bit too tall for it. So if you have something that it's a little bit smaller, you can use it. I've been using it for the tops of my water bottles and they fit nicely up here. But if you don't need to use it and maybe you want to put a plate on this side of the rack that's a little bit too tall, you can always just fold this up if you want. Now, this also does come with a little uh, basket here that's going to be for your forks and your spoons and knives and stuff. But the nice thing about this is that it also comes with a lid. So maybe you have something that's kind of lightweight that the pressures of the jets might actually like fly it around on the inside if you put it in here. Uh, but now you can put this lid on the top of it and now you can contain all of that stuff in this. But once you have those situated here, you just close up the door. Now you need to use the touch panel at the top to be able to pick the washing mode that you want. So there are five washing modes to choose from. And the first one is going to be the normal washing mode, which clocks in at 69 minutes. And the second one will be the speed washing mode that comes in at 29 minutes. And the next is going to be soft mode that comes in at 59 minutes. 
And then the fourth one is going to be baby care slash heavy mode. And that comes in at a whopping 89 minutes. And then there's also a fruit mode, which comes in at 19 minutes. Now there's also a dry mode and that takes around 60 minutes after whatever washing cycle that you choose. Now you can turn that off if you don't want to use it, but I find that to be very useful. It's really nice. Now, after you get everything loaded up that you want to wash, you can either use liquid dishwashing soap, or you can also use those little pods. And it has a little place at the bottom of the door on the inside that you can put Place those things in and when you use the pods and you close the door the pot is just gonna fall to the bottom of the, uh, the dishwasher so that's not a problem that's how it's designed and then so yeah after you choose the washing mode and you hit the play button the water will start to fill in at the bottom there and then um, after about a minute or so it'll go ahead and start washing and so those blades at the top and the bottom of the dishwasher will start spreading the water and all that soap in a, like a 360 degree pattern so I found the coverage to be really good and it's just cool to kind of look through the glass and watch this doing this thing then the play button also doubles as a pause button so if you forgot to put something in you can hit pause at any time it'll stop the washing cycle and now you can do whatever you need to do and then go ahead and close the door back up and then hit play to resume now this does have a display that will be showing you a countdown timer for how long the wash has and also it'll be showing you the temperature that the dishwasher is at now one thing I, I will say about this touch panel at the top I naturally want to go and just physically touch each individual mode when I want to switch to it, but you have to use the mode button to rotate between those. So honestly, in the perfect world, I would want all of these buttons to be touch compatible, but it's not that big of a deal. But the ultimate question here is how good does this perform? Does it really get your dishes clean? And honestly, it performs better than I thought it would. Um, so the biggest thing for me is that I mostly use normal mode and this thing performed fine. I didn't have any residue or anything on my plates or my glasses. Now, when I did use speed mode because I was just using, you know, know uh, this for washing some of my coffee mugs I did find that maybe like half of my coffee mugs didn't come out as clean as I wanted and that's because when I do leave my coffee mugs out for a day or two they get this little coffee ring on the inside of it and I found that with the speed mode maybe it just didn't have enough time but also for sure it doesn't get as hot as the normal mode as far as the water temperature so that might be the ultimate culprit but speaking of uh, temperatures here let's talk about that so on the normal mode it gets up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit for the washing um, cycle and then for rinsing it gets up to 154 degrees and then for the speed mode it only gets up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit when washing and 144 degrees when rinsing but the ultimate baby care heavy mode which I never had to use because uh, it's just kind of overkill for what I do for it but this gets up to 131 degrees when washing and this has two rinsing cycles so the first one is also at 131 degrees and then the second one is at a whopping 167 degrees Fahrenheit so it does give me some peace of mind knowing that I have have this super hulk mode to use if I ever need to but normal mode for me is just fine now one thing to know is that after your washing cycle and your drying cycle if you do use it ends this does have a 72 hour ventilation mode so for 72 hours every 75 minutes um, this little fan on the side will turn on and then for 15 minutes it will run and kind of circulate the air on the inside and I really like this because if you don't do this normally with the dishwasher you sometimes get that stale type of like mildewy smell because of the the moisture and stuff that's trapped on the inside of it so I really like having this mode and the fact that it's just automatic and oh let's talk about the fruit mode so I did use this fruit basket that this does come with and I put a few apples in it and I actually put it in the dishwasher and did a cycle and it did exactly what it said so the temperature doesn't get super hot and also the drying mode does not come on in this mode automatically but yeah, it washed my apples. So would it be quicker just to put the apples in this basket and run it underneath the sink? Yeah, but it was something that I tried. I wouldn't try this with a normal dishwasher, but it did its thing. It cleaned my apples just fine. So yeah, I guess it works. I did do a test where I took a plate and I put some syrup and some ketchup on it and I left it overnight just sitting out uh, for around like 15 hours or so. And then I put it in a dishwasher, normal mode, and that steam and that, that temperature just took care of it with no problem. Oh, and some of you might be worried about the noise that this makes, but I'll tell you that this doesn't really get that loud at all. So the company says this comes in around 60 decibels or so. So let me go ahead and start a cycle right now so you can hear this. And um, I will tell you that honestly, the noise that this makes, it sounds like just water crashing or waves crashing in the ocean. So I actually find it a little bit soothing, but it's definitely not going to overpower any music or TV that you might have. Um, and also if you're just sitting in complete silence, I don't think it's a big deal at all. And there it goes, it's just started. So take a listen. All right, so let me go ahead and pause this. So look, it makes some noise. I'm not going to act like this is like, like super quiet or anything, but 
it's not like an annoying noise. So that's the best way for me to describe this. Now, as far as maintenance, I think really the only thing you have to pay attention to is this filter at the bottom of the dishwasher. So you just twist it and then it comes off and then now you can rinse it off and get some of the little bits of food and things like that that might be left over. Now, they do recommend that you do wipe off any big pieces of food and crumbs off of your place before you use this. So I found myself not really having to do this that often. Yeah, if I had to sum up this dishwasher, it works. It's not a gimmick or anything. This is actually a legit little small dishwasher for you. So I can see a lot of people using this maybe for long camping trips, right? I'm not talking about like a two day weekend, but if you're going to be outdoors somewhere and you have dishes and stuff, and you don't want to kind of mess around with it. This thing could be probably ran off of a, like a portable battery pack and stuff and uh, like a, a little bit bigger one than your normal ones that you use for your phone. But uh, yeah, I think this, this thing is kind of cool and I'm going to be using it in the studio. So on the uh, Hava's website, I think the normal price is $3.99, but right now they're selling it for $2.99. And I did find this on Amazon website for I think $330 right now at the time of this video so anyway i'll draw some links down below if you want to check out this dishwasher and also leave a comment and let me know what you think about this and give this video a like if you did like it but like always i do want to thank you for watching this video and i will catch you later peace